Welcome back. You wouldn't expect someone to choose a lifestyle that involved eating out of dumpsters. Kind of seems like something you do as a desperate last resort, but there's an entire society of people who willingly get their meals out of the garbage. They're called freegans, and they say they have a reason for doing it. Madeline Nelson is a freegan. She joins me tonight in the studio. Ms. Nelson, thank you very much for joining us. Why do you eat out of trash cans? <laughs> Um, well, Tucker, it, it's, um, I would say it's a, a, a political choice as much as anything else. Um, there's so much waste uh, in America, and I think America is just an example of what's going on. Um, we're at a point in our society where we're throwing out um, tremendous amounts of perfectly usable um, food, clothing, electronics, etc. cetera, right. um, that... Uh, uh, a group of us think that it's it's a perfectly rational choice to save that to salvage. Well, that I'm, I'm with you on the on the clothing and electronics. There's yeah. a lot of waste in this country, and it bothers me. Sure. But food is in its own category. The reason we throw away yeah. food is not because food producers don't want to make money; they do, but because they're afraid of being sued by people who get sick from food that is over its expiration date. Um, well, that's I, I can understand how how most Americans would think that. So, um, in fact, though the the law was changed in, in the U.S. in uh, 1981, uh, there's a Good Samaritan law, and basically, food that that isn't considered prime sellable food because it's maybe. Uh, uh, a little bit wilted on the lettuce, a day old on the bread, that sort of thing. Right. Um, if, you, if you give that, and you give it in good faith, um, you can't be sued. To a homeless shelter? or To anyone. You could give it to anyone, and, and you couldn't be sued. Okay, well, I mean, I, I'm following you so yeah. far. Um, yeah. Why don't you pick at Whole Foods? Why do you have to eat out of the garbage? That seems like kind of going a little far for a political belief, no? To pick at Whole Foods? Have yeah, to, to pick at Whole Foods, to write your congressman, to write an op-ed for the sure. newspaper. I mean, there are a lot of ways to mm -hmm. be politically active. Eating out of a dumpster doesn't seem mm -hmm. like one of them. I agree with you. There's a lot of ways, and, and this is one of them, of course. Um, uh, it, it's one way to do it in a very physical um, uh, way. Um, I think you'd be surprised, really. I certainly understand people People react. They have, ha they have a, a reaction like, yeah. You know, well, it's kind of nasty. I mean, if dumpsters are, are nasty. Um, I, I think if you actually saw it, though, you would realize that that a lot of it is not nasty. I and mean, we find half cases of um, of perfectly good, for instance, a half a case of, of arugula that's never made it uh, out onto the shelves of the store, all all wrapped up. Um, uh, portobello mushrooms is another example. Um, let's see what else. Um, uh, you find cans that are ever so slightly dense. You find bread in abundance. You, f you find all sorts of things, especially at the major supermarkets where um, where the managers don't control the ordering. So they get in lots of food. Right. Then they have to get rid of that lots of food, even if that food has absolutely nothing wrong with but it. But don't you – right. It may have absolutely yeah. nothing wrong with it. Yeah. It may have something absolutely wrong with it, though. Aren't you concerned mm -hmm. about putting it in your mouth? Um. I certainly understand that concern. Uh, the, the simple answer to that is the same rules that apply when you open your own refrigerator at home apply to what you see there. Uh, if the tomato looks good, if the tomato smells good, if the tomato has nothing wrong with it, in the same way that in your own fridge, you would look at that and you would smell it and you would feel it. Um, uh, your senses are a very, very good guide of what's yeah, going on. Yeah, sometimes they are, but then sometimes yeah. you get botulism and die. You have dinner parties? Yes, I do. With food that you take <laughs> out of the trash, do you tell yes. announce to people when they show up, by the way, I just pulled this little arugula out of the garbage? Well, absolutely, absolutely. I wouldn't want to fool anybody. Um, absolutely not. Um, uh, some of these dinner parties are among people who, who do this, do dumpster diving also, um, so they're perfectly well aware. But uh, friends, I, just, I just can't get over how normal yeah. you seem. I don't mean to patronize you uh, at all, <laughs> Madeline, but you just don't seem like the kind of person. I, if I saw you rooting around sure. in a dumpster, uh -huh. I don't know what I, I would stop and stare. Would you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what. And that's actually good because that's part of the theater of it. You know, that's part of the theater. But not in a good it. way. I wouldn't stop and stare. I'd stop and stare like well, that woman must be deranged. She sure. looks so nice. Why is she in the Dempsey dumpster? And Tucker, do you know what I would do at that point? I would look at you and I'd say, um, "Would you like uh, some of this? Um, we've we've got prepackaged uh, locks here, and there's some bagels." Do you know what I would it? do at that point? I would run away. <laughs> But I appreciate your coming on anyway, Madeline Nelson. Thank you. A freaking. We appreciate it. You're welcome.